All right, thanks for joining us today at LearnWake. I'm Brandon Judd, and I'm responding today to a video analysis request that has been submitted by user Big360 here. And uh, this is on a heelside air back roll behind the boat. Uh, and this is in preparation for a wake to wake back roll. Uh, as mentioned here in the description, uh, you say I started watching the low impact heelside back roll progression. After watching video of my first attempt, I determined I was trying to do more of a Mexican roll. So I decided to try doing that as I don't have a good feel for the progressive rotation. I watched this video and it doesn't look right for a Mexican roll either. Any pointers would be much appreciated. Thanks. Um, so the confusion between a Mexican style back roll and a uh, stock progressive back roll um, is just to kind of catch some of our members up is that a uh, progressive back roll is uh, more cartwheel rotation um, and a Mexican back roll is more of a uh, like gainer style front flip rotation. Um, so where the rider's chest would be flipping forward and the uh, board would be going behind them and they would rotate in this direction. Um, where a uh, progressive back roll, the nose would be pointed more into the flip and the nose and the board would lead the flip and then your chest would face the boat for the majority of it, finishing through that. So um, and that kind of Mexican nickname um, of that style of rotation, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're separate tricks. It's really a very similar trick, um, and a lot of people have something somewhere in between the two. So just to kind of help this make sense to you, uh, your air rolls here, um, they have to take off progressive because that's the only way they will function uh, and then they have to finish Mexican and that's just the way this trick works in order to get the rotation you have to start very very progressive and then sort of turn sideways in the middle of it um, to finish it out um, because the getting your momentum and the load and release properly at the beginning um, will give you a good progressive back roll and then in order to finish this rotation and actually land it um, you need to finish kind of Mexican just to so you can ball up a little tighter and um, finish flipping like the second half of a front flip type rotation um, and uh, that'll bring you back to landing on the balls of your feet so just to be clear if you're trying to land a wake to wake back roll um, like taught in this low impact heel side back roll progression video um, you'll notice that Kyle in this video doesn't actually land his air back roll. Um, that's not really the point of it, and I think it mentions it in the audio as well, um, that uh, the point is just to learn the pop, because the finishing you know, quarter of it, the finishing half or quarter of the rotation, is uh, more Mexican style, and you have to kind of change how the flip works in order to get back to the board really consistently. So. Um, I wouldn't worry about landing that before you go into the uh, actual back rolls. Um, so let's take a look at these and I'll just show you really quick how Mexican the um, finishing part of the trick is when he does it really small and how he delays that nice progressive takeoff um, on the ones that he takes wake to wake and bigger. So. Um, just to kind of give you a quick, so it's a progressive takeoff here that's nice and progressive, leading with the nose, loading it up nice, and then as soon as he gets halfway through the flip, you'll notice that he has to kind of swing his heels under him and bring his chest forward, and it's very, this part of the rotation is very kind of Mexican, it's just not the Mexican style takeoff. And then he does a back roll here that's very Mexican. Um, it opens up a lot at the end and finishes out a little progressive because he's not planning on landing it. If he had to land that, he would need to finish it more in that Mexican style where he has to get his chest forward and then ball up and flip that way. Um, but on the ones that he does land, like this one, it starts out progressive. And then right here, it finishes a little bit more Mexican style. And then this one's even more progressive. But you see a hint of it in there. And it's it's in there in every trick. So don't get too confused. Er, in every back roll, that little like front flipping feel motion is in there. Um, trampoline style front flip, not 
wakeboard front flip. That gets very confusing, and I apologize for our terminology. It's not the clearest. Um, so I wouldn't stress too much about that. Instead, let's just talk about your your uh, heel side air back roll. Uh, let me change the speed to slow it down just a hair. Um, it looks really, really good. Um, I mean, you're popping out of the water on your practice ones. You're staying nice and tall with your hips forward. Um, and the ones that you do load up look really good. Um, like this one here, like that's, it's pretty good. You're just turning almost a little backside. Um, that's the only thing, because it looks like you're just trying to make yourself land it. Um, let me go back a little further. And we'll look at this again. So right here, you take your back hand off the handle, and you really dive your chest down, kind of Mexican style like you were mentioning. Um, and by doing that so aggressively so early, you start to turn a little backside. Um, and that's what's making it feel a little funky. Um, and that's why the rope kind of goes behind your heel set edge. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. I would just slow the initial um, load uh, into your back roll. I'd slow that down. So this part, you should keep your arms nice and relaxed. Don't feel like you have to pull your chest in at all. Um, but just load harder, and then when you release, just keep two hands on the handle for a little longer, um, and you can look how Kyle does it in here. Um, he keeps two hands on the handle for a little longer than you do. So he's loading, and then all the way into the first almost, you know, past the first third, almost into the first half of the flip is when he has his two hands on the handle. So he just let go of his backhand right now, and he's already upside down. You let go before your board even came off the water. So stay and trust that line tension for a little longer, and it will make it a lot easier. Let's take a look at that one more time. Um, a little early. Here we go. So really load it up harder, and then keep two hands on the handle and keep your chest facing the boat for a little longer and then you can finish it like normal. Um, but again, he doesn't even land it, so you don't need it for the wake-to-wake -wake back roll. If you want to actually land an air roll, you'll need to start off stronger, like Kyle did here, and then just finish in a more um, balled up position to get your chest back over your board. Um, and that's about it. I mean, everything else here looks good. I If I were, if I were coaching you, um, I would take you straight to the other side of the wake and have you try it um, one wake because your load is great. I would just have you do a couple loaded airs kind of like this, like where you just stand tall, start at the bottom of the wake. If this were inversed, start at the bottom of the wake and just ride up to the top. Right. So if the wake is right here, I'll draw a little arrow that makes the wake. If the wake was right here, I would just have you start at the bottom of the wake and load up just like you did here. Just a nice little one-way pop where you don't go too crazy far into it, but you feel like you could get the energy to do a back roll. Once you can visualize it in your head and know that you could probably pop a back roll, then I would just have you do that. You know, Go up the face of the wake, down the face of the wake, and then roll right up into it just the same way that it's taught here. Um, this is... a uh, this is a really good, and you can do the inside out one um, if you're really uncomfortable going upside down, but I don't think it's a problem. I think you could go right to this, uh, you know, short one wake version um, and probably get pretty far. And if that's not working for you, you can go back a few steps. Um, but that's about it. I, I mean, it looks really good. I wouldn't get too down on yourself. The rotation's a little funky just because it's an air back roll. Um, I couldn't figure these things out to actually land them until after I had done some wake-to-wake -wake back rolls. And once I understood the wake-to-wake -wake version and could do these little pops, all I had to do was um, converge both of them, merge them both into one trick um, out here, and then it'll be much easier to land that way. You can even try them off of a roller or something um, to give you a little bit more pop to get all the way around. But, I mean, yeah, you're good to go man uh thanks for submitting and uh good luck let us know how it goes if you want to you can uh ask us more questions in the comments here or you can upload another video of yourself trying a one-wake version we can work on it from there thanks again